What is going on you guys? My name is Rage and we are back today with another Doom 2 raid video guide and playthrough for you all. Uh, in today's video, we're going to be walking through the next stage here in terms of the Mystic Nodes. Uh, the five characters that's worked best for me is actually the new Warriors meta here, consisting of Deathpool, Cloak and Dagger, as well following up that with Silver Surfer and Doctor Doom. So they have amazing synergies with Deathpool because Deathpool is able to actually grant them energy. And on top of that, um, the new Warriors team really does thrive in raids because that is ideally what they were built with especially the spreading of negative conditions so that being said uh, let's dive into each of the characters the respective upgrades to show you guys the footage so starting off here you can see uh death pool with the respective upgrades here i haven't found the need to actually t4 her ultimate but i mean uh, if you have the available t4s i would recommend it just because she already does a, a really incredible amount of damage and you're going to find her passive attacks will deal a lot especially if we're taking down enemies at a good rate Next, we got Silver Seer for here. We didn't hesitate here to upgrade him as much as we can. As you can see, T4 is in all of his abilities. Next, we got Dagger here. Uh, a little bit lower in the yellow stars just because I haven't had a chance to push her out and her shards are limited. But you can see the T4s were pretty massive on her as well. Special, ultimate, as well as her passive. Next, we got Cloak here. And similar to Dagger, you can see a lot of upgrades here with the exception of the basic. And just to really pump them up because they are both quite squishy. But the synergies with Deathpool is really what matters ultimately. And especially if they're getting energy to use their ultimates and specials. And last but not least, if you have unlocked Doctor Doom, uh, he's going to be really pivotal because he has a great cleanse. Um, he's got a good ultimate. And the fact that he actually can soak up a lot of damage, he can become that pseudo tank for us. As well as being able to also benefit from Deathpool's synergy. So that being said, you guys, those are the five. Let's dive right in now to the gameplay. Uh, formation wise, I did put Deathpool and Silver Surfer being on opposite sides uh, and Cloak and Dagger in the middle just because, you know, if they get attacked, you know, I'm okay with them going down as opposed to Deathpool and Silver Surfer just because they have a really incredible amount of damage. We want to keep them alive. And Cloak and Dagger really th is there for support using their ultimates to root blind and uh, strip as well as uh, put negative conditions on all our enemies here. So starting off, this is very important. Silver Surfer's speed is pivotal here. By ability blocking Bishop, we're actually going to be able to synergize Deathpool special there to spread the ability block there as you can see and next you should have actually Cloak's ability here to activate the ultimate and just putting a boatload of negative conditions on all of them and that includes blind which is going to really save us so uh, initially in this wave I do recommend actually taking down the right side first before Kestrel so that is exactly why I'm focusing on Bishop and Beast first just keep in mind because Beast has that cleanse uh, we do want to take him down right but um, in this moment where you have um, Doom special here I did want to stack his striker so that's why we use that right there finishing off the, the entire right side and as well stacking some attacks on Kestrel as well so this is looking pretty good for us we were able to clean up the right side uh, Maria Hill summoned some clones but that's good for us because keep in mind as well if we take down the clones we're gonna get Deathpool's passive attacks and as well that energy uh, generation for our roster so um, now we're actually in a pretty good position I'm gonna go ahead use Silver Surfer special here just to additionally deal some more damage to surrounding foes And it can get a little scarier just because these guys do do a lot of damage. But uh, don't forget, our team does have really good healing as well. And we haven't used uh, Dr. Doom's ultimate yet either. So at this point, you can see how weak Kestrel is. We're going to finish her off and get her out of the picture here. Just because we don't want to leave her, uh, especially with given how powerful her abilities are. So at this point, I do have Deathpool here activating her basic attack. Just finishing off Kestrel. Uh, energy grants. And now we're in a good position to actually use a uh, cloak special here as well. So, you know, I would uh, recommend focusing this on uh, Elsa or someone that has positive buffs just to strip that away from them. Uh, the Elsas in this wave do do a lot of damage. So that's a good recommendation. And now we have Dagger's ultimate once again here, activating here. And you can see with the blinds, it's going to save us a little bit. And putting those troopers in a really beautiful position because the moment that Deathpool starts attacking, uh, she's going to take them down and then that's going to give us more energy once again. So at this point, when you have the Silver Surfer attack here, uh, likely his third turn, really just try to finish off who you can. It's really a matter of cleaning up the board. And if possible, um, I do recommend saving Dr. Doom's ultimate. But if you if you don't want to save it, um, you know, that's okay. Uh, just due to the fact that sometimes you might be worried that um, in this case, uh, your, your allies go down. So I recognize that. I used the special there. And that allows me now with an ultimate that's ready to go for the next node. So that's why I prompted that decision there. So hope this video is able to give you guys insight short and fast um, when you have the right team. But thank you as always, you guys. Do appreciate you checking my videos. And as always, I'll see you in the next one.